what's holding you back is your fear of fully trusting yourself. Somewhere along the way, the lines got crossed between getting it right and what actually feels right to you. Sometimes you're not even sure anymore, because for so long you've been looking outside of yourself, seeking for the answers. A fear of being obscure will always leave you looking in the wrong places. What works for them doesn't necessarily work for you. Yet still you try to follow the blueprint, but like a shoe that doesn't fit, you're only left with feelings of discomfort. Something inside of you is calling out for you to listen, but you can't quite seem to hear it above all of the noise. You have two options. Listen to yourself or listen to everyone else who you think has the answers. You choose them over and over and wonder why you continue to feel so lost as you search further and further away from yourself. The lines become blurred between their voice and yours. Do you even know what's true for you anymore? Maybe you should ask yourself. What is my truth? You try to listen, but it's hard not to be distracted by the shiny objects all around you. But you must remember, what's right for them isn't necessarily right for you. And what is for you is more wonderful and aligned than you can ever imagine. If only you'd listen to yourself and not them. And then you realise... What's holding you back? Since starting this project, I have realised I have been holding myself back. By the way, if you're new here, I am Samio and I have challenged myself to 35 videos Oh, fluff. <laughs> to 35 videos before I turn 35 in June next year. This is video two, if you count the last one. So I guess you could say we're off to a slow start. I really wanted to hit the ground running with this. I tried to do the whole start before you're ready thing. So I put my last video out before even having the next one planned. I thought that that would help me get the ball rolling. But the problem I have is I often get caught up in what is the right move to make and then I end up making no move at all. It's what held me back from starting and it's what's been holding me back from continuing. That and the fact that I did go on holiday but let's not make excuses. Anyway, I went down a rabbit hole of looking externally for answers and once again, I figured out that the way to do things right don't necessarily always feel right to me. I want to create things that people see and can get inspired by and I want to share my ideas and my art, but if it's done in a way that doesn't feel authentic, I get this really icky feeling inside, like it's not me. And so, in a moment of peak frustration yesterday, I wrote that note to self, which turned into this short film or mini essay that hopefully you can connect with too. See, at times, I think we can all struggle with choosing to follow a path that's supposedly right and a path that feels authentically right for us. Social media, what other people are doing, what other people appear to be having success with, our peers, it can all create a lot of noise. Sometimes it it is is worth listening to don't get me wrong but if we don't occasionally turn down the volume and decide to look inward how will we ever tap into what's authentic for us like me for example with the stuff that I want to create so here I am sharing it my truth <laughs> I hope you enjoyed and I hope it could serve as some food for thought to help you tap into what's holding you back if anything and if you enjoyed this video you can check out video one out of 35 right here and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Here's to moving forward with trusting ourselves and what comes from within.